Greetings, my name is Kerry and this is Kerry Louise Reads. This is my January TBR video. I haven't made monthly TBR videos for a little while. I'm experimenting with getting back into them. I found that making the TBR for the Christmas Readathon actually really helped me focus my reading. Surprisingly, I wasn't going to make a TBR for January and then I saw the great bookish TBR off winter round was happening. I will link to their Twitter in the description for you. I can't remember who all the co-hosts are off the top of my head. They also have a discord which is really helpful for encouraging people to read from their backlist and so there are eight prompts that they've put together for the January the winter round of this readathon. So I thought I would pick a book from my backlist for each of the prompts. Actually it was really tricky because I kept wanting to put library books on there. <laughs> and then I was like, no, it has to be backlist. And then I was like, oh, I could put that one. And then I realised that was a reread. No, it has to be from my backlist. So I managed to find a book for each prompt. I'm not going to like hold myself rigidly to this list. I mean, I'm going to try and read these books in January. I don't think I'll get through all of them. I'm going to do my best. And then depending on how this goes, I may or may not make a TBR list for February. I may or may not try getting back into Cluedo picking my TBR. We'll see. We might see if there's a readathon again taking place in February that I can join in. I don't know. Anyway, let's just get into what the prompts are. So the first prompt is TBR Veteran. So that's a book that's been on your TBR for a really long time. So I picked one of the oldest books on my TBR, which is Pals, Girls and Monty Bodkin and Bachelors Anonymous by P.G. Woodhouse. This is on the oldest books on my TBR list. I've read some P.G. Woodhouse before. I find him really funny. It's not a massively long book. It's just over 300 pages. Should be able to read that one quite quickly. The next prompt is a book you meant to get to in 2022. I had a couple that I could choose for this, but in the end I decided to go for Legends and Lattes by Travis Baldry. This is our Space Sirens book. It was originally meant to be our book for November, but for various reasons we've had a number of delays, so it's now our January book. <laughs> so I need to read this one this month anyway. Again, it's not massively long. Again, just over 300 pages. I've heard mostly really good things about this. It's kind of a cosy fantasy, which sounds perfect for kind of cold January vibes. So excited to pick that one up for Space Sirens and it fits this prompt. The third prompt is a book with a winter theme or cover. And for this, I'm reading one of the ones I didn't get to in the end for Christmas Readathon because I ended up reading a different book for this prompt. So that is The Snow Child by Erwin Ivy. This is set in Alaska in the 1920s, based around an old folk slash fairy tale. One I heard about initially on the Strong Sense of Place podcast for that Alaska episode. This one is slightly longer. It is 430 or so pages and has some additional material at the end, which makes it a bit longer. So again, wintry vibes. Looking forward to trying to pick this one up. This one is maybe slightly less of a priority than the others, again, as it's slightly longer, but we'll see if I get to it. The next prompt is a book to continue a series. This is the one I'm going to be picking up next. This is We Free the Stars by Hafsa Faisal. This is the second book in the Sounds of Arawaya duology. First one is We Hunt the Flame, which we read for Space Sirens in September 2021. I just watched back the Space Sirens live show for We Hunt the Flame and realised how little I remembered of the first book. So I've read a summary and actually a lot of it's come back to me so I'm hoping that once I get into it I'll remember the rest because I don't really want to have to reread the first one particularly as it's in storage at the moment. This is a chunker. This is 585 pages. So <laughs> that's the main reason why I might not get to anything else on this list because I might end up spending the whole month reading this. But I remember the first one being fairly slow paced to start with but then once I got into it I really raced through it. So I'm hoping that it will be similar for this one that once I get into it I'll read it quite quickly. And I think it's got quite short chapters. The first one definitely had quite short chapters and often that makes a book feel faster paced. Yeah starting this one you can see my bookmarks in there. I'm starting this one tonight. Okay the next prompt is a book from your favourite genre. So for that I am going for really hard to pick a favourite genre because I love genre so much but I thought probably speculative fiction is where I pivot towards. So I'm gone for The Never Tilting World by Rin Chapeco. This is I think it's science fiction but it might be fantasy or it might be somewhere between the two so it is definitely in that speculative fiction realm. This has been on my TBR for 
ages. I've been really meaning to get to it for a long time and keep not managing to get to it. This is the first in a duology as well. Yeah, I don't know a lot about it, but looking forward to picking it up. So I might try and get to this one. This one is just under 500 pages, about 485 pages. I think this one counts for Read Around the World as well. I believe Rin Chipeko is from the Philippines and I've not read a book for the Philippines yet. So hopefully we'll get to that one. The next prompt is a book outside your comfort zone. This is another one that was on my potential Christmas readers on TBR and I didn't get to. This is How Much of These Hills is Gold by C. Pam Zhang. This is a Western and I don't really read Westerns. I didn't know it was a Western. I won this in a giveaway and I entered the giveaway because I thought the cover was really pretty. <laughs> and I had no idea it was a western. So we're going to give this one a try and see how we get on and it is again just over 300 pages, about 320 pages. So I probably will pick that one up next after we free the stars but we will see. The seventh prompt, the penultimate prompt, is a book with a cold character and I've got a really short one for this. So if I'm struggling to get through the list, at least I know I've got a short one to get to. This is The Island of Dr. Moreau by H.G. Wells. This one is just over 100 pages. It's 118 pages. So it shouldn't take me too long to read. I have really mixed reactions to H.G. Wells. Like I've read a couple of his novellas before and not enjoyed them as much as I thought I would. But my main reason for wanting to read this one is because I was given The Daughter of Dr. Moreau for my birthday by Sylvia Moreno Garcia. She wrote the book, she didn't give it to me, my friend Kayla gave it to me. <laughs> Just clarify that. And I want to read this before I read that so that I understand the context of that book. So if I read this one this month I can pick that one up soon but it's like a dangerous scientist Dr Moreau who experiments on animals and people maybe I don't know so I think he counts as kind of a cold or morally ambiguous character and then the final prompt I've actually already completed which is great <laughs> so it was a book under 300 pages this is another one that I didn't quite get to for my Christmas readathon actually all three of the ones I mentioned were possibilities for the same prompt which was a festival in the title so this is The Burglar's Christmas by Willa Cather I just so happened to have it with me I was staying with a friend for New Year's and because I was still on Christmas holidays it kind of felt like it counted to still read it so it's only like 30 pages <laughs> yeah I read that got it off the TBR so that's one prompt down already <laughs> so that is my TBR for the winter round of the great bookish TBR off I'm taking place in January I have a couple of other books that I might try and get to I've read a couple of library books already this month but my main focus is going to be getting through these books from my backlist. I also have a couple of ebooks on the go. I have some books I'm reading for uni and I have a couple of series on my series to finish list where I need to reread books so I might pick up a reread as well we'll see but these are my priority. So that's what I'm hoping to read in January. Let me know what you might be hoping to read in January and let me know if you're taking part in the great bookish TBR of <laughs> readathon. I feel like I can get that name wrong every time. I know that they're also doing lots of reading sprints on various of the host channels so if you join the Twitter or the Discord you will find out all about that. My friends Amber from Books of Amber and Justine from I Should Read That are also doing lots of TBR support reading sprints coming up so check out their channels as well yeah so let me know some of what you're planning to read in january or if you just want to let me know that you've been here let's go for a cafe emoji for legends and lattes so like a mug or cake or something something you would find in a cafe <laughs> and you can leave that in the comments for me to let me know that you've been here you can also like this video if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't already and you can also follow me on my social media all that information is listed for you in the description box below but that's it for today so thank you so much for watching and i will talk to you again soon bye, bye.